Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So um, do something a little different because, you know, I, I, I just feel the censorship is going to be stronger and stronger. And, you know, they are always demonizing or demonetization. As you can see this, this is inside Evolutionary, inside uh, the studio at YouTube. And all those little yellows are where they've limited um, the monetization. It goes all the way back to 2017. And the thing that is something, the topics in these titles all contain Civil War. Um, and back to 2017, December 2017, we were talking about the fact that they want to start a civil war in the United States. Uh, ever since you know we first started this channel pretty much um, been sharing what we know is coming sometimes been off on the dates uh, absolutely um, sometimes you know right on <laughs> and the thing is though that I think we and others out there as well understand what's really going on here um, that whether you view what just transpired yesterday as a, a theatrical event or very real and spontaneous um, well very real okay I'll go along with the very real spontaneous N no I mean there's over you could see I mean as we've been talking about there's a progression a series of events that they want to transpire and yeah bringing the u.s to the very brink or start of a civil war is one of them and civil war is is part of what they want to be happening in some way civil war insurrection revolution uh strife within the u.s where we are basically fighting ourselves it's when that's happening that they want to trigger that red dawn scenario because you may be saying why are there so many uh, w reports that say that there's tons of soldiers, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of soldiers that have come across the border over the years, but especially in the last four years, uh, illegally, and we know that they're here. I was re reading one yesterday that was estimating uh, just in the last year 120,000 uh, red Chinese soldiers are, are here and so it's it again is a case where this scenario or the series of events in this uh, big drama uh, that we have going on planet earth um, well we, we kind of know what they ideally want to achieve in what particular order and what we're witnessing right now is absolutely a major um, peace in that uh, pie mm. well they need strife I mean that's that's one of the ingredients that they absolutely must have and you know doing whatever they need to do to get that strife and, and I have been texting some of you who understand exactly what's happened and I think the strife we have now, and it's in my own family too, it's like I have very close family members believe it was very uh, real and, you know, it's just something that, oh, it's so horrible and, and poor Trump and um, on and on and on and yada, yada, yada. But the thing is, is I need to have more compassion for those in my life that believe this is real because it's coming from their heart they are disturbed they're upset they don't like what's going on any more than anyone else i the thing that hurts me is they're looking at this as if it was some sort of accident or some sort of uh some sort of situation that could have possibly have been prevented um, like there's some divineness about it and I look at it and I see it as okay they needed this to happen now that it's happened people can start fighting with each other about whether or not it was you know um, a real thing or not and that's just something I don't want to do with my family or anyone else 
I stand where I stand and I, I try to be accepting of where other people stand. It's like, okay, if that's where your heart is, that's fine. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about dinner. Let's talk about flowers. Let's talk about the sky. Let's talk about just something different, you know, but don't let this separate you from your loved ones. Just if that's where they're at, find acceptance in that and move forward and love them anyway absolutely as we go on in these times i mean it gets tougher and tougher for cindy and i to keep making videos about this because it's such low frequency and you know you'll have i saw one person um didn't even look at the video didn't listen to any of the live just sim simply said oh i see that photo on your tag yesterday it was the first photo that i had picked up uh, as we quickly rush to get online because we want to let everybody know what's happening and, and our take and also to, you know, stay calm, don't overreact and don't get caught up in hatred. And the person say, oh, you're looking for clickbait to, you know, make money. You know, newsflash, <laughs> evolutionary energy arts has been around for seven years. It didn't make a dime for over five, not a single penny because it was demonetized the entire time and even now we would make way more money greeting people at walmart than doing videos that's just the reality there's not money in this from when you're up against the system there's no money in it you're just fighting uh, an uphill battle against the system you know so yeah the videos on youtube uh, they 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 pay less than minimum wage um, absolutely, and, and there is no money in Brightian and BitChute as well, and Rumble just a tiny bit. We're not doing this for the money. If we wanted to have channels, you know, that brought in money, we could do that and be very successful. We're trying to save lives and warn people and get people to prepare because it's just so obvious to us what's going on, and we want to, you know, help people wherever we can, and we know that Again, every single person, bar one or two, will understand that if you've been uh, following us the whole time. I think it's important to understand where Mike and I come from. And, and every now and then we, we do mention it, that we've both been affected in a huge way by the system, directly, um, by those that we love. We have lost dear loved ones, very close loved ones from, from the system. So this comes from a different place. Yeah, there's there's money out there to be had. But right now, this is our calling and this is what we do. And, and while I'm talking about this, just I would just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who does give a thumb up, everyone on Patreon, everyone who does help us out in this situation. Because Mike and I can't do this bare bones. We cannot do this alone. But my gosh, the passion is there. The desire to try to change things is there. The desire for a better world for our children and our grandchildren is there and and that's where our focus is and so many people help us make this happen and we are very very grateful that's where we're at with that yeah and you know to clarify the news is the thing that draws our frequency down and yet um we would love to just to do more of the spiritual side the energy work side and stuff um, because that doesn't uh, drain us and certainly um, doing things like the uh, ambient music with the biofield tuning um, that's enlivening and that that really raises frequency um, and again there's playlists on both patreon and hearts home for that um, so yeah it's just really the news but you have to realize too this is the purpose of all the news we see is to lower our frequency to get us into um, you know, that louche um, production factor, so to speak. But yet, you know, changing the paradigm on Earth is about awakening enough masses to shift that perspective. So, yeah, there was another question uh, or another comment where somebody said, if this was, you know, in fact, a manufactured act, there, there wouldn't be any other casualties. And uh, I don't think that person's really paying attention. No, I mean, when... Uh, the Archduke Ferdinand was killed. Uh, that was a manufactured act. That was, in, in my opinion, and many others that have um, looked at it from a historical and from a remote viewing standpoint. Yeah, oh no, that was supposed to be 
uh, what we would call a false flag type event, um, which, yeah, does somebody lose their life? Yes, people lose their lives all the time. Wars are manufactured uh, to produce louche and also to lower souls ability to move out of this frequency range this is really what's going on the control system understands uh, much more about the 4d side of things than they let on in their uh, religions that they give us because they do give us the mainstream religions those religions are contrived and uh, many true spiritual movements uh, end up being castrated by the system because they throw so much religious indoctrination into them that they turn them into useful tools instead of what they were originally intended for. Because, yes, absolutely, the real Yeshua Jesus was a rabble rouser and he was against the system and he was pro-human and pro-planet and pro-life and pro all the good things you know at not not uh, at all about what the system has portrayed him to be and here again they're taking us down that very predictable road because they are extremely predictable of civil conflict and and unrest in the u.s and then you know they will trigger that ww3 scenario and let loose uh the sleeper cells that are in place you know, all this more than likely is scheduled for the next half of this year, but it, it could be something that they put off. It all depends on our consciousness because it, nothing is, you know, written in stone per se. We can change timelines. We're always changing timelines because all these consciousnesses in this uh, matrix, both the real matrix and the false dark matrix within the real matrix, uh, do have a say in the outcome mm. yeah what we do mike and i we have a, a very strict spiritual practice while we do this because this is vibrational lowering but we also have a calling but we definitely do things like our mantras prayers meditation yoga qigong to help keep our frequency up while we are doing it because there's people out there who are desperate to know if there's something else is there another way is this the only way and we are out here saying yes there is another way absolutely there is another way but it starts with you so you know when you look out there and you feel so desperate that you cannot change anything that's frequency lowering you want to work on your own personal frequency so you want to be getting a spiritual practice so you can work on yourself because if you're working on yourself you're helping your home you're helping you're helping others that are around you and what we are doing right now is we're trying to inform people that look there's more going on than what meets the 3d eye these controllers are very wicked they will stop at nothing to get what they want that includes loss of human life guess what they're not necessarily human, so it doesn't bother them. It, it only bothers them if they're inconvenienced and people are not going along with their charade. That bothers them. So we just need to kind of see where these people are coming from. People, sorry, these entities are coming from. Yeah, absolutely. Again, as we, we said over here back in 2019, is Satan a Draco, a reptilian? Absolutely, that's who the adversary ultimately is. It, it, it's non-human. Um, and again, we're divvied down into are you a flat earther or not? Are you you know, Christian or are you Muslim or you know, are you an atheist or are you capitalist or communist? All these things are their labels. These are all their labels. You know, Democrats and Republicans, those are their labels. We got to think past this. This is the thing. As long as they could pit us against each other, they're still in control. And right now, there's massive confusion on who the shooter is, even. It, it's come out and you've been given a name and photos, but then there's other photos out there and another name out there. And, you know, was there multiple shooters? Because, you know, again, you got people that say that that there was definitely two different shooters why didn't uh the the well security the the feds why didn't they give them the go-ahead when when 
supposedly a sniper sniper was going to take out the shooter before the shooter shot again this is all intentional confusion it's intentional confusion because they want us arguing with each other they want us you know they want to be able to subvert the bigger question and the what's what's the bigger question what's really going on here you know what is the real intent is it simply that the the <laughs> the system fears uh number 45 is the system really afraid of 45 again there's no billionaires on this planet that are not part part of the system that that's an illusion you know everything that we've been sold is and again you'll have so many people that can't face this reality that we've been sold you know we've been sold that america is the greatest nation in the world and you have people that you know will be singing that song i'm proud to be an american but again uh, you know the usa has been at war 97 percent of the time of its existence it's it's been in more wars um, than any other nation during during the time of its existence. So, what has really the USA been? You know, the 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 reality is, the USA has been uh, their tool, just like the Roman Empire has been their tool. That's it just a tool we've been used they've been using us all of us you know that would call ourselves americans we've been used they use us and then they throw us away they've used other nations and then they throw us they throw them away and then they just move on they raise up another group of people and you know they'll have a little bit higher quality of life they'll have a little bit easier life while others will struggle they build the resentment in those that are struggling the anger they create a new great satan and then they'll tear that one apart it's just a never-ending cycle this is what they do and until we recognize it we're just going to keep walking down the path because so many people think that's the only path so um i guess if you have family members or people that uh, disagree with you i think what we all need to do for times of peace and changing this collective changing the energy so we need to find different things to get along about just because you don't agree with one person on one thing does not mean that you cannot find something else to talk about some other agreement you know a meeting of the minds elsewhere uh, people don't have to continually rehash one thing just because it's not agreeable we are multifaceted beings we can talk about and find other things to do besides the political and religious aspect of things in especially if that is bringing grief in your life and if you are a black sheep and if you are i'm sorry i know it can be a lonely road but you do not want to be in the place where you're cultivating that anger and hate don't want to go there it's just not worth it i just want to bring this point um when you step a generation away from an event like you know i grew up in really mostly the the 70s and the 80s and i do remember vietnam i remember like the ending of vietnam uh as it started when i basically when i was born and it ended when i was around eight and what is it you know fight communism this is the communist scourge right you 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 can't have communism take over the world and you know vietnam falls and you know who's gonna fall next and it was a a big war but it was an awakening too you know there really was an awakening some of the first uh let's call them starcy light workers were, were waiting waking up in this and they knew this is wrong you know let them decide what they want you know we don't belong over there why are we dying over there why are we killing people over there um and, and ultimately the communist won well look at vietnam today vietnam's high net worth population reaches 19,400, fastest global growth in other words vietnam sees the fastest growth in millionaires globally what so communist won and there's now more millionaires there than anywhere uh, as far as the record rate of growing number of millionaires so wait a minute 
isn't communism all about sharing and nobody has more no no it's it's all the same these are labels that are total bs they're complete bs and we buy into the bs and think that well only in the united states do you have a chance to go from rags to riches well no you'd have a better shot at it in, G in vietnam right now because they're getting ready to destroy the U.S. This is part of their their plan is to economically destroy U.S. Just like they destroyed the Roman Empire. But the Roman Empire just morphed. It, it really, you know, it split up and, you know, it morphed. And the power went behind the scenes. Just like the power brokers went behind the scenes. You know, if you look to the works of Plato, Plato speaks of the day when the gods left. They were here. They left. They just decided that they would give the illusion that humans are actually making their own decisions, but they just basically are still running things from a distance. And those gods are extraterrestrials. They've always been extraterrestrials. So what happened with Vietnam? Well, you know, again, obviously it's doing pretty good right now in time. When you look to a lot of these nations, you know, if you look to the Chinese um, you know, bullet trains, you know, and you look to Singapore and then you go and you look at New York City and, and D.C., you know, the U.S. has turned into the slums. The money has moved. They've already shifted everything. They've shifted everything because they know ahead of schedule what they're going to do. Part of their schedule is creating civil war in the U.S., followed by a red dawn. You know, it's just, it's about getting your own frequency up, getting your own vibration up, uh, changing how you personally do things and anything that you personally do, um, do it as best as you can. Do do your absolute best at every job that you do. And, and that's going to help. I mean, the change starts with you. It, it starts at home absolutely as always guys we want to thank you for your support um we do uh so appreciate your support over on patreon we couldn't do it without the patreons look forward to your comments what's your thoughts on all this please do share your light with the world keep trying to awaken the world uh before they create another grand conflagration source bless namaste namaste